Hello my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing out there this afternoon? I'm Michelle the Introvert and today is Friday March 11th 2022 and this afternoon and this evening my husband Gerald and I are going to be working on a spring cleaning project in this kitchen and it has nothing to do with my upper cupboards the cupboards up above but in fact it has to do with spring cleaning in my bottom cupboards here I'll show you these cupboards here at the bottom these are the ones that we're going to be working on and there's a reason why we're going to be working on all of these bottom cupboards here now these drawers are fine but it's just the bottom cupboards here on this side of the kitchen that need some assistance our apartment was built in the 1980s and a lot of work of course was done in this apartment but in this kitchen in particular there were some things that were completed when the apartment was worked on and built but there were some things that did not get completed and what did not get completed were the cupboards I just showed you they don't have any shelves in them whatsoever so when you open up the cupboard doors it is like opening up into a very big hollow space so Gerald and I thought this is the year this is the year and the time that we're going to remedy this situation remedy the problem so right now Gerald has stepped out he's gone to a store to pick up a few things that he's going to need and our project begins tonight Gerald is home and he picked up this trouble light here which will come in handy and you can see how hollow the cupboard is and it's in a little bit rough shape it needs some work as you can tell some stains in there it's clean but those are stains but that trouble light will help Gerald in with what he plans to do in there Gerald bought this very long board here and these are going to be my shelves so in order to do that Gerald brought out his tools from the shed he bought some paint for the walls and he also bought a circular saw so that's going to keep him fairly busy I think Gerald also has some items for painting Good morning my little rays of sunshine rise and shine it's early in the morning and here's my coffee last night Gerald and I had painted the cupboards actually Gerald had painted the cupboards I just cleaned them out before he got in there and we thought we would let the paint dry overnight and then continue on this morning on our spring cleaning project here in the kitchen so I want to show you what Gerald has set up here in the kitchen for our next step Gerald has the skill saw all set up here in the kitchen it's kind of rainy out today so we thought we would do this in the kitchen instead of outside so he has the board here and the skill saw and he has his level as well right there so all he has to do is write down the measurements and then measure accordingly and then cut the size of boards that we need for the shelves for those cupboards right over there Gerald has his measuring tape out there just doing a final measurement just to double check it doesn't hurt to double check before we actually do the cutting and as you can see again on the bottom I have plans 
for the bottom of all the cupboards that have years and years of stains on there. We've only been living here in this apartment for a couple of years, but those stains at the bottom of the cupboard have been here for years. So we're going to remedy that today, my friends. It's going to be an interesting day. Gerald is a busy bee this morning. But we had our Tim Horton coffee to help us get an early start. making very good progress here. It won't be long now and Gerald will be putting those wonderful shelves into the cupboards. Josh, well right now he's actually getting his coffee or getting a coffee and he has a nice muffin from Tim Hortons that he can have for breakfast. So even though there's things all over my dining room area, Joshua's um, table is in the clear so he can sit down and of course have his breakfast. But hey Josh, Hi. <laughs> yes, Josh was just getting up this morning to get his breakfast and coffee going. So, my friends, we're making really good progress here. I'm really happy with how things are going. <laughs> and my Tim Horton coffee tastes great this morning, for sure. So, it's great having you guys to come along, and there's more to come. This is the cupboard here by the stove. And the paint... It's kind of hard to see because of the shadows, but the paint on the walls looks so nice. It's really freshened up the walls. So it'll be great to get everything done. I'm really looking forward to it. And these cupboards here, these are quite dark and they're in the bottom part is bad in bad shape for under the sink. But the walls look fantastic. And I'm going to get the bottom all taken care of today as well. And Gerald is doing such a good job on the shelves. That there, unfortunately, is stained, but I'm going to see what I can do to get rid of that. I've tried really hard to clean that, but I'll have to figure something out. Again, we've only been living in this apartment, this particular apartment, for two years. Just actually a little tiny, tiny bit more than two years. But most of the things that you see in the cupboard just have been there for years and years and years. So it was time. It was definitely due time. Gerald and I wanted to fix the situation, get things tidied up and cleaned up. After years of just needing a good, good helping hand to get it cleaned up. <laughs> and with the shelves, that's going to be wonderful, wonderful to have those shelves in those big empty cupboards. The shelves are all put up and they look absolutely wonderful. Let's take a look at cupboard number one. And you can all see the difference. It's quite a difference already. And we have a little light in there too. And I can just shut it off like that. Oh, like that. <laughs> 
That looks a lot better. Cupboard number two. And you'll be able to see what we did in there. It looks a lot better and a lot brighter in here too. And these shelves will definitely come in handy for all the different things that go under the sink. It looks cleaner and brighter. Now let's look at cupboard three and cupboard four, which combined makes one cupboard actually. We have another light in there. And look at the beautiful job that Josh, uh, Gerald did. And Joshua was a big help as well, assisting. It looks much better, much tidier. And this is where my pots and pans will go and cookie sheets. Now I'll show you the other side too. This is all one big cupboard. But this was all hollow, completely, completely hollow. And if you look at the top here, there's like a lot of room just up there, like a lot of sp extra space that wasn't being used. But now with that shelf, that gives me plenty, plenty of room. And there's the other light there. So it's all quite an amazing accomplishment. I'm very happy, very happy indeed. I've been as busy as a bee here in the kitchen. And I figured that you would all probably want to see what my look cupboards look like inside right now. Now that I've put everything back where they belong. So let's look again at cupboard number one. I have my measuring cups in there and some lunch containers and some other containers in there and all my handy dandy bowls at the bottom. Let's take a look at what the cupboard looks like underneath the sink. I'll open this one up too. We picked up this mat here at Dollarama and that can be washed with a cloth. We picked up those shelves. Those were the extras that we picked up and found at Dollarama. There's a shelf there. And again with spring cleaning this year we're thinking about utilizing space so we figured those shelves would be perfect. But everything looks way better and way more orderly and organized than before. Now let's take a look at these last two cupboards here and I'll open up this side first so you can look. I have my wok in the back there and some of my cake pans like my pumpkin cake pan and my valentine cake pan. So on this side we're utilizing space very well. Lots of shelf space. And at the bottom, I have my everyday pots and things that I cook my spaghetti sauce. I have my big pot in the back. And my roasting pans are all together. And these here are Gerald's utensils that he uses for the barbecue. Tupperware. Lots of space and lots of room for my cooking pans and pots. Again, there's my cake pans there. And at the bottom I have my cookie sheets and my muffin tins in there. Of course in the back there's my roasting pans. So there's lots of room and lots of space for everything. And I'm again going to say I'm extremely happy with how those shelves have worked out. Well, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me and keeping us company during this very large 
spring cleaning project. Getting the shelves all put in place, getting the cupboards all situated. Just another successful spring cleaning project done. I want to thank you so much, my friends. It's been great having you around. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I do have more vlogs to come. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.